I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't mind someone touching the zone. Get in the zone, team. Let's get ready to game. Let's stomp these kids. We have LP to collect. It's revenge time. This is the moment where I wish I was playing an aggressive jungler so I could level 2 invade. But maybe me being on a champion that forces me to play a bit slower and smaller is good. Decreases the chances of me running it straight down, going 0 10 and solo losing the game just off of tilt and level 1 dying. This is a very farm centric matchup, my friends. Both of us want a full clan scale. But still, could be early action. You never know. You never know. I'm also on each of the small ones. Nice and easy. Let's cook. Look at those mechanics. Look how good I am at this video game. Look how well I right click. As a Lee Sin connoisseur, I have to say, there's a certain peace to playing Teemo jungle. It's so relaxing, so peaceful. It's in straightforward. I can literally just AFK here without hiding the camp at all because it's blinded and doesn't deal damage to me anyway. It's like literally what more could you want in life? I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. This is the ultimate jungler for you lazy people that refuse to kite your camps. It's time to cook, my friends. Let's cook! Are you here, Nocturne? You want some? I'll give you some. I'm ready to game. I think it's... He's here! He's here! Nuke him! Crush him! Steal his lunch money! Boom! That's how we roll! Sit down! I can't prevent them from getting those rafters, it's fine, I'm chilling, I'm out of peace. It's time to paint the town blue. Discover the new arcane metal posters. Stand for your truth, or embrace the chaos. Which side will you choose? Official art on metal, with a 3D finish and tool-free mounting. Shop new arcane metal posters only at Displate.com. Shout out to this place for sponsoring today's video. Now, were you aware that the new Arcane season is already here? And not only that, but this place has also partnered up with them to create something special, something extraordinary for all of us. These metallic posters are great alternatives to standard paper canvas prints. And if you were to get an Arcane poster like this one, it's worth noting it comes with a stick and magnet, so it's very easy to hang up on your wall without any drilling. You can also get them in the new texture finish that adds extra texture to the poster, making it feel a little more immersive. So click the link in the description description below and make sure to use code BROXA to get the best possible offer. Now, let's game! I'll clear the sword. Nocturne could flank me in theory, but he will most likely do Raptors Crux and then recall. It's a very efficient platform. I'm gonna wait here for a second, proc my passive. It's only 20% attack speed for 5 seconds right now, which is not much, but I'll take it. Better than nothing. Unless we just commit to a full clear. Our clear speed is not that great without items, admittedly, but it might actually be worth just cycling everything, basing, and then going Void Grubs from base. I think if I do that, I have really high IQ. Let's get it done. The only downside of me not basing yet is I can't fight anyone. I'm doing crocs and I'm recalling no matter what, I have almost 2000 gold. I didn't proc my passive because I'm a fool and had no patience. It just increased the 40% attack speed from 20, but I guess I didn't want it enough, so be it. An ally has been slain. Did Draven get the kill? Yes he did, he's a big boy now. Hopefully we get the crops. I'm running there at the speed of, well I was about to say at the speed of light, but it's more like at the speed of this dirty little hamster. Is he a bolt? Oh my Jesus freaking Christ Jesus. 
He did not have ult, but I guess he didn't need it. I've been cooked. Hamster has been served for lunch today. Enjoy, enemy team. Wait. It's aggressive, I respect it. Well, I'm coming out of base with the same goal in mind. I may need help cooking. I'm not sure if I beat him when you want any more time will tell. I'm smurfing on this kid! Get off my lawn! Holy moly! That's how we roll. We meet again, my son. We meet again. Hey! How dare you! That's arena players these days, man. Anyways, let's go top. You and me, Chogaf. Let's game. Put zoning Q. And then press E. I guess he had a couple of other buttons to press to escape. Worth noting if Nocturne comes back with ult. My counterplay is somewhat limited right now. We're gonna take the risk. I hope I don't regret this choice. I don't have any shrooms in the area. My flash is up in 20 seconds. But Milio is here and that gives me confidence. I think Nocturne is already in my bot side. He didn't show on Raptors, so I'm guessing no. Joke F1 is feasted. Unfortunately, he was too late to the party. My poison and Pokemon cleared it. But I would love to help my bot lane, but they're gonna have to buy time, because I can't just randomly walk there. I have to clear my camps on the way down. Anything else would be really inefficient. It looks like they didn't have the patience necessary. Enemy team has a very clear win con in the bot lane now. Fortunately, that Draven is playing without cleanse. We got our backs against the wall a little bit here. Okay, I should have insta flashed. I was trying to hold my flash. I wanted Nautilus to hook me, and then when Orianna ults, I flash away. And then they don't have our ult for the fight and we win. But when the hook lands, I have no time, literally, <laughs> to dodge. Um, fortunately, it turned into one hell of a play anyways, because my Kazarina is the literal GOAT. The superhero mid laner of EU West. The savior of Europe. Bent 246. The day that we win Worlds is the day that this player plays on the big stage against Faker. Holy moly. He only took my Crux. Grabs us as well, no way. I'm blind. We might be able to look mid, she has no flash. Time to hunt. It's time to hunt. I'm just gonna act like I didn't try to kill steal that. Smile. Um, is this a good idea? Looks a little forced. But maybe our Katarina is so strong it doesn't matter. You in heaven, my son. Pleasure doing business with you. This guy has no flash. He already used it on me earlier. Sit down! Boom! That's how we roll! I need to base with grubs now. Oh. I guess my base is being delayed a little. That's okay. This guy has to recall too now. I'm chilling. Everything's under control, don't worry about it. Please, for the love of God, dude, don't walk in and stop me again. Worth pointing out that Kennen just doomed his own lane without Rome. He lost so many waves, he gave up free plates to Choga for free. Beautiful scenes, good times all around. I need to burn this. They time out soon in 30 seconds. There's no time to waste. Just get the grubs. Now we go top to bot. If we're smart, we avoid taking any fights that me and Katarina are not both part of. We are monster fit. 
if we play as a unit, this game is done. Now this chase will clear out the vision to begin with. Then we can set up Drake. I need one more also, but I can't reach. I guess we're doing Drake a little later. We're massively up a Nocturne right now. This Hamstand is turning into a monster once more. You know, this is the moment where we regret starting Herald, but we couldn't really have known that Chogra would continue pushing and overextend to a point where they kill him. New Kingdom. No gameplay allowed for all of them. Absolute and Ulla. Teemo jungle domination in the building. Now we clear top to bot. <laughs> Shut down. Then look for deep vision between the mid and bot turrets and get the sieging started. We're not that far ahead in gold yet, but if we play our cards right in a couple of minutes, we will be. So, beautiful Choga place. I saved my shrooms. I can line them up in the river now. <coughs> Looks like a lot of them are bots, so I'm gonna help with. Took one turret and got some gold. Need to set up a new push, buy items before we do that. I just bought the cursed item I couldn't resist. If there was ever a time to do it, it's certainly now. Next item should be Sonya. They have so much all in, lots of AD damage. Sonya is very, very beneficial here. With that item, I should be unkillable, but till then, they could crush me and remove my stacks. My patience paid off. Enjoy your grey screen, my son. Oh, I'm really committing. I think he dies. The poison gets him. These rooms are not balanced. You place them near the wall, in the right places. No gameplay allowed for enemy team. Well, no gameplay allowed for me this time around by the looks of it. I did not expect her TP, I'll be honest. That's my bad. These stacks clearly weren't meant to last forever. I have 12 now. I started with 10. I mean, could be worse, right? Could be worse. We got the tier 2 as well. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything is good. I'm gonna set up some shrooms near Baron in case they get confidence enough to start it at any point. 
this room's last five minutes as well, so having these around is also good if we get an opportunity to do Baron, which could actually be the case right now, despite me having no smite, which admittedly makes it a little bit crazy. Oh, I got a kill. Nice. Great. All part of my plan. It's not Baron. That's good. We should just play for the fight here. Room is gonna kill him. Now we roll. Got our 25 stacks. I should base now so I get Sonya before we fight again. All levels up on him now. Almost 100 CS lead. Should be able to achieve that soon. We should get Drake first, and then we can pull them into Baron again. Like you saw this fight, if they walk into my shrooms, they can't do anything. It's completely and utterly unplayable. Teemo is really OP in these scenarios where you control objectives and drag the enemy teams of face check you. I got an assist. Great. They move to Baron, we get it for free. The death timers are pretty long, they have time to rotate. I'm trying to get them to follow, but let's ping some Drake instead. I guess we have different priorities. Drake is nice and all, but it's gonna be the first one at 24 minutes, meaning there's about a 0% chance of us getting soul, so that Drake is irrelevant. <coughs> we can still do Baron. Remember, we started, they face check us, they all die. Ogre is prioritizing midwave. I wanted to stream up the enemy jungle, but I can move down now. Wait, let me kill Nocturne first. Do you think this guy enjoys playing this video game? I have a feeling he feels like I'm cyberbullying him, which may or may not be the truth at this point in time. This is quite brutal. Joker wants us to wait for his ult, which I guess should be possible. I can just clear cams and get assists and everything. An ally has been slain. Hello? Ah, there you go. I wouldn't mind getting the top tier 2 before basing, it gives me 700 gold. Not sure what happened to my team, but I can't really control what they're up to, so I'll just focus on doing my own thing. It's like they may want to kill me here. We need to wait for Chogaf and he has no TP, so I can delay my base a bit. We can't push till he's up anyways. I can do blue, and I'll hit level 18, and we can base, move out bot side, and play near Katarina. Her and me are still the strongest champs on our team. I'm also not sure what happens, but we have 32 kills, and our top laner has only been involved in three of them, playing a different game than the rest of us by the looks of it. We're kind of chain dying, so this game might not be over yet. Keeping it spicy for the content, I guess. All for content purposes, I'm sure. The Baron buff is out, unfortunately. Makes it a bit harder to siege. Our main issue right now is that people are just taking turns getting caught. We never get to pressure as 5, usually someone is dead and we get outnumbered, so we have to play rather defensive instead of pushing our lead. We don't have anything better to do, we'll probably need Baron to close this one out. I need help I die here. I think I'm dead. We'll see, Milieu is doing their best to keep me alive. Oh, the Draven ult was a bit too much. My mistake. Maybe this ends up being what opens the game. 
They used everything to kill me. Ah, yeah, this dude. Like an empty game bot. We made it! Teemo jungle! To the moon! Ain't no stopping us now! You love to see it. What a great, what a glorious, what a fantastic champion to play in League of Legends. Doesn't matter if you're playing Iron, Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Emerald, Diamond, Master, Grandmaster or Challenger. Teemo jungle will be there for you! Let's look at the damage done by the way. Cause we went. Egg. Egg. Damage world record coming right up. Let's look at it. Forty-two k. I actually expected more. I'll be honest. Still had the most in the game. That's what this is all about. We were still cooking. I disabled chat, and now I have one four instantly. Disabling chat is unbalanced. You heard it right. You hear me. I hope you do. Disable that chat and you will find success and happiness in life.